Hi guys, Altima here. It's been almost more than 10 years since I made a video about Counter-Strike. And you see a lot of people playing it, people from PUBG, Bloodshot and so forth, are starting to play the game again. And with the recent Asian Premier League, you can join tournaments and leagues online. You join as a single person and you're queued up with other people. But the system puts you together with four other players and you play as a team. So what struck me immediately was that not everybody has the same level of experience playing Counter-Strike so some might be new and inexperienced and I still still see a lot of um, uh, new players that probably need some help so I thought you know why not just make a video again and continue this series that, I've, that I started many years ago I'm not a professional player I don't play competitively anymore um, but I still play once in a while and some of the concepts from like back in 2005 2006 are still applicable today uh, I just hope that maybe this will help help someone's out there, you know, maybe improve their game and everybody can have a more positive experience. Today we're going to talk about bomb plants. Planting the bomb. Three things to highlight here. First, you've got to know where to plant the bomb. The primary objective is to plant the bomb, but there's a secondary objective, that is to defend the bomb. So if you plant the bomb in a place where nobody can have line of sight, you will face challenges when you're trying to defend the bomb from being um, defused. For example, in DDoS 2, you know, the, the whole, this bomb site is pretty big. For example, at the A bomb site, you can choose to plant it nearer to the edge that's nearer to A long, or you can choose to plant it nearer to A short, right? Some people will plant it right smack in the middle of the bomb site, and that may not be really ideal. So what happens is if you plant it at the edges of the bomb site, at least your teammates, they have some line of sight in case the counter-terrorists try and defuse the bomb. Another example is Inferno. In Inferno, you can plant the bomb, for example, to, for A apartments next to the crate, or you could plant it for library. Either one of these positions at least ensures that you can try and defend it and make sure that you have line of sight if the counter-terrorist comes to defuse it. The second thing, tell your teammates where you planted the bomb. Because if you don't, people will have, will have all kinds of ideas about where the bomb might be planted. And please don't use things like a planted default. To me, default could mean smack in the middle of the bomb site. To other people, it could mean a plant for, say, uh, A main in cash. I think it helps to be specific. After you plant the bomb, let your team know through the mic, through the voice, that hey, I planted the bomb for A main or something like that. Um, but Ultima, I've got people firing at me from the left and right. There's no way I can plant it at this kind of strategic locations. Well, there are two things you can do here. First, you can wait for the engagement to end. After your team has secured the bomb site, then you can decide how to plant the bomb for some strategic advantage later. Or you can just, if you have no choice, the timer is running down, your teammates look like they can't uh, fend off the opponent, then you just gotta go for a safe plant. But you still have to inform your teammates that I'm planting safe, um, you know, in the middle of the crates or something like that. The third thing is that bomb plants can actually help you get an edge over your opponent. You see, when you plant a bomb, the opponent would have an idea of where you might be guarding the bomb. For example, in Inferno, if you were to plant the bomb for A apartments, as a counter-terrorist when he's coming to try and retake the site and defuse it, he'll, he'll form an impression in his mind. The terrorist must be guarding from A apartments, guarding from boiler room, maybe he's hiding at pit. And you can use that to your advantage because he will, he will be looking out for these areas in A apartments and boiler room. In the meantime, you could have been flanking him from the back from Arch or from library and that would catch him off guard. A very simple example is DDoS2. Let's say you planted the C4 for A long, right? Maybe it's a 1v1 situation. Naturally, he's going to assume that because you planted for A long, um, that you might be defending from pit. But in fact, you could have been going from pit to A door, to middle, to catwalk and A short, all the time while the counter-terrorist is trying to peek and try and kill you at, at uh, A long. And so hopefully these three tips will be helpful. Um, just to summarize, the first thing is of course, decide where to plant the bomb. Secondly, you've got to tell your teammates where you plant the bomb. Thirdly, use the bomb plant to your advantage. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you and see you.